In this lesson, I am going to show you how to create master detail or parent-child reports. I'm going to show you an example of a master detail report, so that you have an idea of how exactly they look like and how they work, and then we will build one. So, here in the data dictionary reports comma, database administration there's weights and events. This is a master detail report. As you can see, it has two results grids, one up here and the other one down here. This is the master report, and this is the detail, and when I click on a row in the master, it retrieves the details for the master row I selected. So, if I click on the disk file operations I.O. Here I get all of the detail rows that correspond to that master row, so, if I click on another master row, the details will change accordingly. So, how do we build this type of report? It is not difficult. I'm going to show you. I'm going to create a report of departments which when I click on a department row, will display the employees that work in that department. I will start by creating a new report in the usual way, just like we did in the previous lesson. I'm going to call it my first master detail, and I'm going to leave table as the style. And this time I'm not going to provide a description, just a tooltip. And here, I'm going to write the query for my master report. In this case, it's going to be a query from my depth table. And now I'm going to select this advanced checkbox, because it is necessary to be able to add a child report. As you see, now my query is in a separate section called SQL query, and I have a new section for child reports, so, I'm going to click on it, and here, I'm going to click on this add child button. I have to give the child a name, and I'm going to call it Carlos Jr., not funny, I know. I'm going to call it my first child. Now here in the tree, the child reports section has a plus sign, which means that I can expand it, and here is my first time here I'm going to add a description and a tooltip. And now I'm going to click on the plus sign of the child, and I'm going to go to the SQL query section. Here I have the query of the master report, and here is where I have to provide the query for the detail, or child report. So, I want the child report to be a report of the employees who work in the department selected in the master report, right? So, I need a query from the EMP table. And now, before showing you how we create the relationship between the parent and the child, I want to show you something. If I select a connection here, this button gets enabled, and it allows me to test my report without having to leave the report editor, so, if I click on it, it runs the report with the data from that connection, which is pretty useful. So, here is my report, but, let's see what happens if I click on a department here. As you see, it looks like the details are refreshed, but I get always all of the employees, not only the ones for the department selected, and that is because we have still not created the relationship between the queries. So, let's do that. The mechanism by which I can relate one query to the other one is based on the use of bind variables. The columns from the master query are available to the child query as bind variables automatically, so, I just have to add a condition in my child query, to make it return only employees from the selected department. So, I'm going to add a WHERE clause here and now I'm going to test it. As you see, there is no detail now, but if I click on a department, now I do get the employees of that department. Now, how exactly do I know how to write the condition in the child query? Well, 
The key is that all of the columns that the main query returns are available to the child query as bind variables, as I said before. So, if I want to add a condition in the child query, which involves a comparison against a value from the master or parent query, I have to use a variable that is called exactly like the column from the main query that it represents. And it has to be written in uppercase. And this is important, because if you use an incorrect name for the bind variable, or you write it correctly but in lowercase, it will not work. Okay. Now you know how to build master detail reports, but what about drill down reports? The concept of drill down is that you have a way to request more details about something, usually by double clicking, using context menus or other similar methods. And the way in which we implemented in SQL developer reports is very similar to what we did with master detail reports. The difference is that to provide drill down capabilities, we don't create a child report inside the definition of the main one, but instead, we create individual reports, which then we relate to their parent by means of bind variables. I'm going to create a new report of departments and a new one of employees, and we will add the employees report as a drill down, so that the result will be somehow similar to the master detail report we previously built, but the way to access the employees information will be a little different. I'm going to create the department's report very quickly. And now I'm going to create the employee's report. In a similar way to what I did in the child report, I will add a where condition that compares the depno column to a bind variable called DEPTNO in uppercase. Now, since this is an independent report, if I run it, it will ask me for a value for the bind variable, which is perfectly normal. But now, I'm going to add it as a drill down in the department's report, so, edit. Now here in the drill down section, I click on add report. And here I provide a name. And I double click here to select the report I want to add. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there is no easy way to find reports here. So, I will just scroll down until I find the report I want OK. Here it is. So, I can now apply. And if I run my department's report now, and I right-click on a row here, I have employees as an option in the context menu, and if I select it, it shows me the report of the employees of that department. And now if I click on this back button here, I now have departments as an option, so, I can go back to the first report. And now, before your task, I just want to mention that you can have a main report with more than one child, and also with more than one drill-down report, and you're about to test it by yourself.